Hey guys, a real brief video on creating a Type B battery holder. Here's a couple photos uh, that I shared in my last video. Recreating the logo on the old EverReady 467 battery. A few things I didn't share in the last video. You can see me here using a straight edge and pencil and I'm just marking the uh, crease lines or fold lines for the label itself back on the inside of the label. Again, using a nice uh, straight edge there uh, to get a nice uh, edge. And uh, here's the, uh, the battery label itself. Standing vertically. And again, it's uh, now ready for the, uh, the Type B holder. So let's move on. Let me show you what I fabricated here. I elected to use a very thin piece of plastic. It's about one millimeter in thickness. You can pick this up from your local box store. You can see that piece of cardboard as well. That serves as a nice template. That's from the existing B battery. You can see me here cutting that particular section out. After cutting the uh, small sections of plastic for the bottom and top, I went on and moved along and cut out the, uh, the back and the front pieces as well. Here you can see I'm just making sure I've got a good fit. Just double checking my measurements and then uh, I've just laid a file down here and I'm just running the uh, material back and forth. Just knocking off any burrs. Just more of the same here, making sure I've got a nice flat edge. You know, this doesn't have to be perfect. Again, it's going to be covered up here with this piece of uh, paper. So uh, here I am actually fabricating. There will be two of these side pieces. Uh, one will be stationary and the other will not, which will allow access or ingress into the uh, battery department for uh, replacing the batteries in the future. As you can see, I repurposed the snap connector from the existing Type B battery. And then that piece of plastic I cut using that piece of cardboard as a template. I actually have it reattached to the bottom side of the snap connector just to give some additional strength and also a tie-in point for the front, back, and sides. So the holder is now complete. Less that one piece on the side, that very narrow piece. Again, you can see it glued here on this one side, and the other side will be placed in a matter that allows uh, ingress to be able to place the batteries inside the holder in the future. So up next, I looked at the battery placement. This has already been worked out by many folks on the Antique Radio Forum and other hobbyists and professionals out here doing restorations. So nothing new here. I did kind of stagger the batteries. I'm using some old 9 volt battery clips. A lot of folks may choose uh, other options, which is fine. I had these on hand. I'm just using up what I had just to keep my expenses down. Shortened up the leads, put heat shrink on, and you can see here with the batteries back inside the... Uh, the uh, holder itself. Overall I'm pleased. Again you can see that piece of velcro there on that one side. That's my ingress point for getting access to the batteries and replacing them in the future. Here's a look at the holder itself now with the label attached. And to hold the label in place I elected to use these very thin velcro strips on the side, top, and bottom. A little better view here how I use the velcro strips to hold the uh, label in place here. And you can see the label itself. I've got just a little bit of a white area showing if I had this to do over. I think I've got my dimensions correct. I would actually make this label maybe a millimeter or two larger. But overall I'm pleased and again I'm not doing reproductions of this. It's just a one-off. So uh, overall I think it turned out uh, rather well. It should uh, serve my needs. For this little Tom Thumb restoration that I'm working on. Here's the A batteries uh, depicted beside the B batteries. These are the labels that I recreated in the uh, last video. And a couple more close-up photos of the uh, the B battery. Again, overall it turned out, uh, you know, fairly well. There's a few uh, definitely tweaks I would make if I were going to, you know, put these in production. Uh, you always learn from these things. You know, and one final test would not be complete. Let's make sure we got uh, some DC voltage, and we do. That's spot on. So again, hey, thanks for watching. 
as well as uh, appreciate my new subscribers out there as well.